Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I have received a ton of comments asking what upgrades I put in my GNG 556 from the video I posted a while back on my TikTok. Well, the bright side is I did get my VFC VR16 Avalon back from the text today, which has the same upgrades I put in the 556. Before we get started talking about the upgrades, I wanted to show you all the comparison from the stock VR16 to the fully upgraded one. If you are looking to upgrade your gun similar to this, you want to focus on four main items. The gate titan, the motor, the gears, and the speed trigger. As of right now, both my Avalon and my 556 have all of these upgrades along with a couple others. All the other upgrades I put on both these guns are listed below in the description. These four items are going to give you that trigger response you're looking for. Jumping over to the external attachments, I did change them a little from the original ones I had when I first got the gun. All of my external attachments I have on the Avalon and the 5.56 which I'm going to show you soon are in the description below with links on where I bought them. For my grip I went with my TAN PTS EPF2S vertical foregrip and switched out from my angle one because it just feels better for me in my opinion. For my flashlight I'm running a Watson M640C Pro Tactical LED light with the attached pressure pad mounted on the top of my rail. I went with the gold flat speed trigger. I chose the gold because I liked it with the aesthetic of the gun and the flat trigger because of my preference. The response? Well, you tell me. On the front, I am using the Ace Tech Lighter BT tracer unit. And lastly, for my optic, I was using my tan EOTech sight, but unfortunately it got shot out. So I got another one, but this time I bought some protective shields from Amazon for the site so it doesn't actually get shot out again. Now jumping over to the external upgrades on my GNG 556. For my grip, I am also running the black PTS EPF2S vertical foregrip. For the flashlight, I am running my Night Evolution 180L Scout Mini Weapon Light. This one though, I am going to probably change out for an MC460 Pro, which is the one I have on my Avalon. I do also have my pressure switch mounted to the top of the rail just like on my Avalon. For my optic, I am running my black EOTech sight which is pretty much the same exact thing as the tan one you guys just saw on the Avalon and I am also running the shield on this one as well. I am running a red flat speed trigger on this one just because I liked how the color looked with the gun on this one as well. And lastly for my tracer unit, I went with the Ace Tech Predator S because I let a buddy use my 556 once and he put on a mock suppressor and it just looks so much better than the one I had on there so I decided to change it out for this one. In the end and also in my opinion, if you do have an AEG and want to compete with guys using HPA when it comes to like the trigger response, don't go buy the top of the line AEG for $600. Instead, just upgrade the internal parts to the AEG you already have, especially if you have a gun like a GNG, which are so easy to upgrade. You'll thank me later. As always, thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel as I will be posting gameplay with the Avalon very soon. Stay tuned, my friends. And as always, until next time.